Okay, guys, so I traded my Spyderco Endura Blackout uh, to a longtime subscriber that I've known for a lot of years through commenting and different things and emailing on my channel. And I traded him for another knife that I think will be very uh, good for me. It's a knife I wanted I had once before that I no longer have. And it's something that I'm also going to take a lot when I hike as well. So without... Okay, guys, the knife that you were looking at in this picture is my Spyderco Endura Blackout that I traded to a longtime subscriber and friend of mine that I've known for years on the channel, talked with and, you know, emails and different things like that. And the knife I, that I got from him is going to be very beneficial to me. It's a knife that I had a long time ago, many years ago, and I've wanted one back. And I'm definitely going to be using this knife when I go hiking in the woods. So without further ado, let me go ahead and open the knife that I traded for this Spyderco Endura Blackout. So here's the knife, guys, that I just got in the mail. Pretty excited for this. I'm going to go ahead and open it like that so I can keep all the private information on the other side of his address. He told me the box was beat up, but you know what? I don't really care. Um, I really couldn't care less about that. I'm planning on using this knife, using it in the woods and different things like that. So here it is, guys, the Cold Steel Rajah 2. Really wanted to get one of these back, and let's go ahead and take a look at it. He said there was a couple little marks on the blade. Um, not really worried about that. I also have some ways I can get that off of there with some steel wool and some different things. Or not steel wool, but uh, I have a lead clean cloth and a couple of different ways to get that off of there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I've already seen some pictures. As you guys know, you can wave it out of the pocket. You can even fling it open and... Yeah, it looks good. I'm happy with it, just from what I'm seeing so far. See, there's a couple little spots on here, but I'm telling you, I could, if I want to, which I'm not really concerned with, I could get those off. We'll go ahead and oil it here in a minute. We'll see what the oiling does for it. So you can kind of do one of these deals and kind of, I don't know if I'm going to have the room here, but kind of do a drop open like that. Kind of just... Let the weight of the blade come out using gravity and then fling it open. Like I said, it also has the wave feature, which is really cool coming out of the pocket. It just opens up as you pull it out. There's a pocket clip right there. Let me see, check lock up. Absolutely no play whatsoever. And I had no doubt it would be like that, guys, because this has the cold steel triad lock. If you don't know what that is, look up the cold steel triad lock, and that will show you uh, exactly what that lock is capable of. Let's go ahead right now and put some oil on it and we'll check and see how sharp it is and we'll go from there. All right guys, I'm just going to use some Lucas Extreme Duty Gun Oil. Go ahead and put some oil on it. Oil the blade a little bit. Looks good. Check it for sharpness. Oh yeah, it's very sharp. He said he's dropped it before. If he used it, he's dropped it. Yeah, it's sharp. Hair shaving sharp. Yep, popping hairs all over the blade. So there it is, guys. This is the Cold Steel Raja 2. This thing is a monster of a knife. And I like it, guys. This will be on me when I hike. You can also, I'm going to try pocket carrying this, and I'll do an update with that with you guys. But there it is, guys. Cold Steel Rajatu, D-O-F, and I am out.